Hi, this is Not a Spring Chick, and I'm just curious, do you think I need tummy tuck jeans? I got these from the night of 100 stars last night, and they're gifting for me. And of course, the shirt, Future Heretics, which is over at the Gibson gifting suite over for the Oscars. Hi, we're here with Old Cam for OFN with comments on the headlines of today. Turkish military kills 41 Kurdish rebels. But they don't expect anything to come of it. Protesters in North Kosovo burn EU flag. Well, if you were splitting up their countries in Europe, I think the people over there would be just as unhappy. Pentagon sides MIA deal with China. Uh, meaning that the people that basically deserted or may have to be accounted for now. Obama targets NAFTA but says support free trade. That's an oxymoron, meaning he condemns exactly the same thing he supports. Existing home sales hit nine-year low. But the National Realtors Association said it is a hit bottom. Obama gains ground on Clinton in Ohio. Uh, and then yesterday, you know, he was in the lead. So if he was the lead yesterday, how could he be gaining ground today? Pentagon. Satellite hit a success. Yeah, but the only ones in the world knows if it actually hit was them. Boy Scouts plan 100th anniversary. Yeah. And they've invited presidential hopefuls to drop by, but don't expect to see the Democrats anywhere near them. Visa Inc. said Monday its initial public offering could raise up to $19 billion, making it the largest in U.S. history, even and though the credit card processor is entering the market at a difficult time. They, they don't seem to understand that people can't pay their bills. Esprit Farrakhan sings Obama's praises. Oh, I wonder if it has anything to do with the fact that his name is Barack Obama. NYPD tri trio on trial for Groom's death. Yeah, you know, it, it, it was a horrible accident. But see, horrible accidents are still crimes today. Democrats seek FEC probe of McCain. Uh, well, because they're trying to, uh, to shift the, uh, the focus from McCain's pointing out the fact that they're refusing to accept public financing. States with later primaries may count. Only if Hillary stays in the race. Clinton assures donors after losses. Well, she can't come in any worse than second no matter what, which means it's a brokered convention. Stocks higher on hope for housing bottom after the National Association of Realtors reported existing homes fell less than forecast. They fell 9%, which was a disaster. Study. Being fit can lower stroke risk. You, you wonder sometimes who funds these studies. Everybody knows that if you're healthy, you're not going to be as sick. Review. Stewart saves sluggish Oscars. Unfortunately, as they're saying, it was the lowest rated Oscar in history by 14 points. And it's, it has to do with the fact that they didn't show anything that anybody actually wanted to see. So they were seen right all over and it wasn't just the gowns? That's right. Democrats promise a lot, but who will pay the bill? Ah, that means us, huh? That's right. Impact of beef recall widens. Soups, sauces affected. I mean, this is going to continue on for forever because it is in, um, it's in cans, it's in pre-prepared, dried things, so it's just not going to go away for a long time. So can we still eat beef? You're going to have to be very careful now. Payday lending, scarce a decade ago, has exploded into a $40 billion a year industry, complete with lobbyists and campaign donations. Well, back in the old days, when my father was a part-time police officer at the Los Angeles Police Department, they used to call it loan sharking. Microsoft dumps HD DVD drive for Xbox 360. Still, the company hasn't confirmed support for Blu-ray in its game console, noting growth of downloads. It means that there is no faith that, that Blu-ray is going to be able to make it by anybody. Health insurer must pay $9 million for canceling sick woman's policy. Well, what you do is you just simply put it in a fine print that if you have a pre-existing condition, you get your cancel. A few of the actors on the red carpet at the Academy Awards looked as if they either couldn't be bothered with fashion this year, so not superficial were they, or had dressed in the dark on a rainy Sunday afternoon. Well, because everything was either safe, red, or very black. Ah, classic. That's right. Home Depot, Inc., the world's largest home improvement retailer, tomorrow may report its first annual sales decline after the worst U.S. housing slump in more than 25 years, sapped demand for cabinets and appliances. 
And if, if people are not working on their homes because they can't sell them, there isn't any need to have these big businesses open. Oh, really? Cuba's Raul Castro faces reform challenge. Well, we got the airplanes. Simply don't think that he's facing a reform challenge. Those are bombers. That's what that is? That's right. Wow. There's a harder hitting Hillary out there. Uh, Hillary loves to run as an underdog. It gives her a chance to kick people's ass. Yeah, and Gloria Allred was gracing the carpet of Night of a Hundred Stars carrying a Hillary for President sign. <laughs> <laughs> South Africa announced Monday that it was reversing a 1995 ban on killing elephants to help control their booming population, drawing instant outrage from animal rights activists. Well, because everyone in the knows there are so many elephants that you can see elephants here, you can see elephants there, elephants everywhere. Ah, Republicans are out. <laughs> <laughs> New York Philharmonic arrives in North Korea. As in the, uh, in, in, as Peter the Great says, we're going to bring culture to you whether you want culture or not. Obama condemns NATO run. It's the second time in two days that Obama has showed vulnerability. First, he's going after McCain on public financing, and now he has simply said that NATO has no right to run for the presidency of the United States because he's hindering the people's right to vote. Ah. A Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the animal kingdom. Contrary to what people say, Americans ver believe are they're very Americans are very strong in their beliefs. They either believe in something or they believe in nothing. 